Hi, I'm Reagan. I play Taco. Um, I've been doing acting since I was 12. I've been taking classes and I did like musical theater. Um, my finest role was probably being a toy soldier in a Christmas show in which I was also a gingerbread man in a Christmas tree. Like, I was a lot of things. And I went to USC. I studied international relations and French and I was pre-law, but I do acting as well. I did student films, I do this. Her voice is so fun to do. It's just like, it's so fun to do like a kind of evil like British accent. To, I don't know, like it's just, it's the voice is my favorite part, for sure. Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Justin. Um, I am a writer, director, voice actor on Anatomy Insanity. Aside from Knife, who's your favorite character in the show? Or nerds. <laughs> But I'm the best! <laughs> um, I'm, I'm always keeping charts of concepts that I want to put into the show in one way or another. And a lot of them get left on the cutting room floor in one way or another, but uh, when, I'm, when I'm able to put something together, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, I was able to put together a draft for the episode, um, and then we built off of that from there. But uh, the team coming together is a beautiful thing. We all have our strengths, we all build off of each other, and we're all the better for it. Final question. Final question. Taylor? Or Adam? <laughs> They're like the same person, though. <laughs> um, <laughs> Why? Hey, everyone, this is Brian, co director, writer, editor, voice of fan here, and I just wanted to introduce this little video of me doing the fan lines for An Anime Sandy 2, episode 14, Hatching the Plan. I never really expected getting into voice acting growing up, even though I always had an interest in animation. Voice acting's just never really where I saw myself. But then way back in the days of season one, I created this character that kind of required an Arnold Schwarzenegger impression and no one really knew how to do it. I certainly didn't know how to do it, but I was like, I could teach myself that. That really helped me realize how much I loved voice acting. You really get into the headspace of a character when you voice act and imagine the world around you as if you're really reacting to it. When in actuality, you're the one dictating what that world will end up being like in the show. And I think that's pretty fascinating. That whole being in the headspace thing results in me improvising several times throughout this video. Uh, sometimes it's more for a gag and sometimes it's more about, okay, if Fan was really experiencing this and going through this emotion, what would he say? And uh, those moments are less comedic. So you'll get to see both ends of the spectrum. But yeah, this is just a simple, silly little video, uh, not too much in the way of educational value, but if you're interested in learning a little bit more about the creative process behind this episode, you can feel free to jump on over to my channel and watch the video breaking down the writing process. Uh, but for now, please enjoy me doing a funny voice and making a complete fool of myself, okay? All right, let's fade in. Fade. Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Taylor and I'm a series director for Inanimate Insanity. I do animating, I do sound editing, but I also do voice acting. In fact, I voice act all the characters on this shirt right here. But the one we're gonna focus on today is Toilet. Toilet is the hardest character to voice among all my characters. And that is because he is always really, really loud and has a really, really weird accent. Yeah! But this video is probably going to be a little different from what you're used to seeing. I only have two lines this episode. It's a pretty big struggle to do just two lines in Toilet's voice. Thank you guys so much for watching, by the way, and supporting the channel. And I really hope you enjoy the video. As Toilet would say, I love you!